So you want to create your own cryptocurrency. I'm going to show you how to create your own on Ethereum as quickly as possible and you don't need any coding knowledge. I'm Matt, a software developer, and I talk about everything coding tech and productivity related. My goal is to get you interested in tech and if you have any questions or need help, feel free to hop into my Discord. So hit that like button and subscribe and let's hop right in. There are a few things you'll need before we get started. The first is MetaMask. It's a wallet and you can go to metamask.io and click download now. Once you have that set up, you'll be on Ethereum mainnet. If you want to launch your real token, this is what you'll want to be on. I'm going to use the testnet so I don't have to pay real gas fees. So up here, I'll click on this one. Then you'll want to get Ether into your wallet. If you're using the mainnet, you can send Ether from something like Coinbase. I always recommend doing a small test transaction first. If there's any mistake, you can lose all of your money. You'll want to send to this wallet address. You can click here to copy it. I'm going to use this faucet. This will be some fake Ether to use on one of the testnets. So up here, I can click here, paste this in here, and click send me test Ether. Now that we've verified we have some test Ether, we can hop over to remix.ethereum.org. ERC20 is a standard for creating these tokens on Ethereum. We can use a contract that's already pre-built online that's been well tested. Open Zeppelin has tons of different contracts. You'll want to copy and paste this code exactly as I have it. Up here, we just need to define our Solidity version. Then we need to import our Open Zeppelin contract. And down here, we'll want to say contract and then name it whatever your coin's name is. So for example, my coin, I'm just going to name it my coin. Down here in the constructor, you're going to want to give this a readable name and then the symbol name. So for example, this would be Bitcoin and this would be BTC. And down here, you want to call the mint function. This sends it to your address. And then you want to define a total supply plus a number of decimal places. Here, I set 1 million with 18 decimal places. First off, you need to go into the file explorer, right click and click new file. Then you want to name it what your token name will be. Over on the compiler tab, you're going to want to match this version to which version of Solidity you're using. Keep everything else the same and also click enable optimization. Down here, you want to choose your token's contract name and then click compile. Once that's done, go over to here to deploy and run transactions. You'll need to make sure your environment is ejected web three. You'll wanna make sure your account matches your wallet address. If this doesn't match, open your wallet and click connect. Here we'll check that zero X and then D9 match with zero X and then D9. Leave all of the other settings the same. Down here on contract, you'll wanna choose your tokens contract, then click deploy. MetaMask will pop up asking you to pay some gas fees. I'll use the ether in my wallet and click confirm. Once that's complete, under deployed contracts, you'll see a new message. This will give you the address of your token contract. You want to go over here and click copy, then up in MetaMask, click assets, scroll down, and then import tokens. Here you'll want to paste this address. It will auto-populate your symbol with the amount of decimals that you specified, and click add custom token. Now click import tokens. Now you'll see you have your total supply in MetaMask. In my next video, I'll show you how to list this on a decentralized exchange like Uniswap for anyone to buy. I also answer all DMs on TikTok and Instagram, so make sure to follow over there, and see you next time.